friends, welcome. Let us start a new chapter, Assignment Problems. Assignment problem is a problem of assigning jobs or activities to the workers. Here we assume that all the workers can do all the jobs or activities or say all the workers can perform all the tasks. So now the problem with us is to which worker we should assign which job. Because all the workers can do all the jobs. The difference is either cost of completing the job by the worker. That means the say remuneration the worker charges for the job. Or it is the time which the worker takes to complete the job. The time or cost for each worker completing each job are different. That's why we have the problem. How to solve an assignment problem? But before, let us study the mathematical structure or general structure of an assignment problem. The size of the assignment problem is always n. Equal number of columns and rows must be there. Otherwise, the assignment problem is known to be unbalanced and we cannot solve it till we balance it. We have already studied the concept of unbalanced problem, balance problem in transportation problem. But here the case is somewhat different. If number of jobs and number of workers are equal, the assignment problem is called balance assignment problem. If the number of jobs and number of workers are not equal, the assignment problem is known to be unbalanced. Let us first talk about the balance assignment problem. In this column, we have shown the workers 1 to n and here these are jobs or activities 1 to n. C11, C12 etc. are either cost of completing the job by a particular worker or they are time say in minutes or hours or days or weeks as the case may be which is necessary for a worker to complete the particular job. These are not equal. That is the main point. It is something like a, a transportation problem and so far as the method of solving an assignment problem is concerned the first method itself is transportation method. That means consider an assignment problem as a transportation problem and solve it through any method. The entire route is of a transportation problem solution. Uh, in case of solving an AP as transportation problem, we have to add a column of supply here and supply of all the worker will be one. Similarly, we have to add another row as a row of demand and demand of all the jobs will be 1. So, total supply, total demand for all the rows and columns will be 1 and the assignment problem will be easily converted into a transportation problem. But it is a very long route. So, it is not say suggestible or advisable to solve an AP through the route of TP. Another method is linear programming. But again, if we want to solve an assignment problem as a linear programming problem, first we have to convert the assignment problem into a transportation problem by adding row of supply with a column of supply with supply of one from each worker and similarly row of demand as demand of all the jobs being one. Then we have to formulate a linear programming problem as we had already discussed that point in case of transportation problem and after converting it into a linear programming problem we have to use simplex method to solve the problem or another option available to us is convert the assignment problem into a transportation problem write its dual with ui and vj that also we had discussed in case of transportation problem and solve the dual. So, linear programming, use of linear programming is possible only through transportation method. 
The third method is complete enumeration method. That means we have to make a list of different alternatives available to us. That is something like a trial and error method. We have to list out all possible assignments with their due costs or time and we have to calculate or calculate total cost of each and every option or total time required for each and every option and then the assignment with the lowest cost or lowest time is selected. If we take the size of an assignment problem as n, n factorial assignments are possible. Just think we have three workers and three jobs. Then the jobs to the workers can be assigned in n factorial ways. n factorial means n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 and so on up to 1. So if there are three jobs and three workers, the number of assignments possible will be 3 factorial. That is 3 into 2 into 1. In six ways we can assign three jobs to three workers. But just consider an AP of size 4. The number of possible assignments will be 4 factorial. 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. That means in 24 ways we can assign 4 jobs to 4 workers. And now just imagine a problem with 5 workers and 5 jobs. The number of assignments will be 5 factorial. That means 120. We have to make list of all such possible assignments with total cost or total time as the case may be and out of them the assignment with the lowest cost or lowest time should be selected. So it is quite a troublesome to use complete enumeration method where there are more than four workers and four jobs. The last is Hungarian assignment method that is specially for solution of assignment problem. Hungarian assignment method uses the opportunity loss or opportunity cost concept that is a very important and very useful method so far as the methods are concerned these are possible methods but when we study assignment problem or solution of assignment problem we just say learn a using a very small example of complete enumeration method but our main track will be Hungarian assignment method that is also popularly known as HAM. That's all. Thank you very much.